Hey guys, Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and uh, we have some big uh, breaking news, Tesla breaking news. It's great news, but has a lot of caveats and disappointments. So let's start with the good stuff. So owners of Tesla cars who have only the standard autopilot, meaning the lane keep assist and the distance, the adaptive cruise control, now can upgrade to the enhanced autopilot. Enhanced autopilot used to be an amazing option a few years ago. The Tesla Model 3 I'm driving that right now has the enhanced autopilot. Obviously, there's the full uh, autopilot, uh, the full, the full self-drive. The enhanced was in between. So what does enhanced give you? Obviously, you have the basic autopilot like you would, and you have an automatic lane change, meaning you, if you drive on a highway and you are an autopilot, if you put the blinker on, you the car will uh, move by itself from lane to lane. Uh, you have the summon, you can pull your car out between uh, two uh, parking cars or the smart summon. Uh, and you can get uh, also the auto park, uh, the auto, the parallel park and all that. And of course the um, adaptive cruise control, uh, no, I'm sorry, the uh, navigate an autopilot. When you put a destination and the car on the highway will get, um, uh, move from lane to lane, exit on, uh, of the ramp, and all that so the the full self-drive right now will give you all these options plus stop sign recognition and traffic light recognition later on city driving and at the end it's going to give you the um at the end it's going to give you the uh um uh you know the full uh, autonomous we'll see about that so we'll see what happens so so that's great news this it's a great option and i love it but an existing only for existing Tesla owners. So my Tesla Model 3, if I look at the app, I look, th that option of course doesn't exist. I can go to a full self-drive for additional $5,000. My Tesla Model Y now has two options. It has the uh, autopilot, I'm sorry, it has the uh, enhanced autopilot and it has the uh, full self-drive, 4,000 or 8,000. Now here, so that's great, I love it, I love it. Now here are a bunch of caveats. It's only available until September 30th, 2020. So if you watch this uh, video in a year from now, so now that it's irrelevant. So it's uh, September uh, 30th, 2020. So just a couple of weeks left, less than two weeks. It's not available also for any new uh, new car that you buy uh, if you uh, option it on the internet. If you go on the on the Tesla website and you and you choose a car, that choice is not there online. You have only one choice, which is the full self-drive, the 8,000. So these are the two big caveats. So it's only existing customers right now, and new customers who want to buy it, to buy Tesla now, they don't have that option online. Now, here's two things I can think of, and this is completely speculation. Uh, uh, maybe Tesla wants to encourage people to buy this option, which I think is fabulous. Fabulous, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute. It's a fabulous option, and, and it's great, great that Tesla has it. Too bad it's only until September 30th. I think it would be, should be an option forever. Okay, should have enhanced autopilot for one, as one option, and you can have a full self-drive on the other option. So that's, that's great. So Tesla is gonna have that just for a limited amount of time. The other thing I was thinking about is that Tesla maybe is not selling as many uh, full self-drive. Uh, not, not too many people are optioning this app. So maybe they want to lower them in from one to the other. Uh, I, I don't blame the people who are not choosing full self-drive because full, uh, full self-drive does not exist. And the only thing that you get for $8,000, the only thing, if I get full self-drive right now in this car for $5,000 edition, the only thing I will get is the Substein and the uh, tra traffic light recognition. That's it. Now, I'm not saying it's a it's a small thing, but it's an additional $5,000. And if you want to get it from the beginning with, it's $8,000 option. So it's quite expensive for something that not yet fully developed, the autonomous car. Hopefully it will be de developed and that's great. So having this $4,000 option, when I got it in the in the Tesla Model 3 back in 2018, it was um, a $5,000 option, which I did. It's great. It's really fantastic. I absolutely 100% love it. It's great, great, great. If I was Tesla, I would even break it to a third third option. I would do, let's say I call it the blinker option, that you can, and, uh, when you put your blinker, the car will move from side to side. 
from lane to lane without the, the auto park and all that stuff and, and navigate an auto park. So it's, it's great to have options and, and people, human mind works this way. If you get one option, you want the other one. But just to jump from zero to $8,000, that's a lot. But it's good, 4,000. I wish it stays. I wish it stays forever that option so we have at least two options like i said i'd like to have three let me tell let me know what you think about this option what would i do uh, i would like to get that my wife gave me the evil eye so we have two weeks to negotiate we'll see what happens if i'll get it i'll let you know thank you guys see you tomorrow